morning you guys it's Karen and I'm here to review this the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder and I'm also going to give you a dupe for this because this is very expensive £49 um, this is supposed to be a in fact let me read you what's on the website and then I will show you me applying this so I don't currently have this on because I wanted you to see the kind of before and after so on the website it says three times the dimension three times the perfection um, the first of its kind finishing powder features two ambient lighting powders and an ambient strobe highlighter in one melange flattering the complexion with a soft focus and natural radiance um, and it also goes on to say that they are hand blended and so each one may be different and that these are ideal for light to medium skin tones so they don't seem to have included dark skin tones in this range I don't know whether if these sell okay they'll add another one in um, on some of the other websites such as cult beauty and um, space NK I noticed that there were there were some more descriptions of this saying that it helped to blur fine lines and things like that and it doesn't say that this is the hourglass website i'm reading from but it does say a soft focus what else did it say soft focus and natural radiance it says to apply it with the hourglass brush of course the hourglass brush seems to be quite a dense brush so i've got this one i've got two brushes here this is they're both real techniques this one is b01 and this one is b03 so this one is more of a big light fluffy brush and this one is more of a densely packed firm brush more the one that they say to use it with but i wanted to show you both of them because you can get completely different results depending on which one you use okay so let me get you a bit closer so that you can really see what's going on um, i'm going to first use it with the fluffy brush so this is the b01 the real techniques b01 so let me show you just pick some up and fluff it on and i actually think it doesn't look too bad at all like this in fact i think it looks barely noticeable but i think it looks nicer with a fluffy brush than it does using a thicker brush which i'm about to show you so that's it on there i feel like you can there is a nice sort of very soft focus um barely noticeable difference if that makes sense but let me show you using the firmer brush where you get a bit more on um where am i going to put it now we'll have to put up with me looking a bit odd for the rest of the video i'm going to put it in this area here and if you use a firm brush hopefully you can see that it starts to bring attention to floors that i don't want showing so let me show you even closer up you see here i should have done that closer still but when you use a firm brush you really do get some of the product and you get a little bit more sort of shine and you get i think it, it draws attention to my visible pores here and also to the kind of texture of my skin now i don't know whether it shows at a distance probably not as much um but i think that this is something that could be used like a you can use it as a highlighter with a firmer brush here or you can use it with a fluffy brush all over the face but where i put it there isn't ideal um, because like i said it just draws attention to the not so nice bits so i've had a look at the reviews of this and i have to say there's not that many people that love it um the reviews seem to say which i agree with that this is not not strong enough or shimmery enough to be a highlighter and but too shimmery to be a finishing powder i i would agree with that if you use a really firm brush but i think that you can choose which effect you want so if you want a soft finish you can use a soft fluffy brush and i thought it was quite nice like that i don't think it was anything wow anything that you'd necessarily notice majorly you know it was a real subtle difference but quite nice um but if you use it with this i would say you know with the firm brush i would say you can use it more as a really subtle highlighter again it's not it's not super noticeable i don't think i don't really wear highlighters as you guys know so that's not something i would probably use it for um unless that convinced me to like highlighters because it's so subtle um but i think what i will continue using it as and what i have been is using a fluffy brush just as a finishing powder but to be honest with you it's not one of those products that gives me enough that i will 
probably continue to use it. So I've, I'll keep it in my makeup bag with the intention of using it as the last step. By the way, what they say to do is do your foundation, concealer and finishing powder. So you're supposed to use a setting powder and then use this. So it's an extra step. Um, and I think it's one of those that's that's nice, but I think I'll probably most of the time go, oh, I can't be bothered. You know, it's it doesn't give enough for me to feel like it's essential. It's just a really nice sort of little luxury, a little added bonus, if that makes sense. I did try most of the ambient lighting powders and didn't enjoy those either. Um, I know that some people absolutely adored them, but they just weren't for me. I tried most of them. What I do love are the blushes. I think the, the ambient lighting blushes are amazing. They've just got that tiny bit of something extra without looking sort of shiny. Um, but like I said, this one, I feel like it's just an extra step that doesn't that is really lovely and beautiful, but it's just not something I think I'll end up doing. I think I'll just be like, oh no, I'll just skip that step, you know. So that being said, let me show you what is a great dupe, and it is this. This is the Revolution Skin Finish in Luminescence. Now there's, there's different colors in this skin finish that you can buy. I think there's about six different colors, and it doesn't look anything like it when you put them side by side. But let me show you them swatched. So let's do the Hourglass one first and then the revolution one second so they still the revolution one looks a bit pinker it actually says in the description that it's got a lilac shift but i have never seen a lilac shift in this at all and i have used this revolution powder a few times it's the same kind of thing as this in that it gives you a pretty finish if you use too much you can look a bit too shiny and it can attract attention to pores you could use this as a really soft highlighter um, let me swatch these so you can see them together because swatched you can see that they're more of a similar colour so you can't see much there so let me just get some more like you know deepen those swatches and then you can maybe see can you see that they are very very similar when swatched um, on the hand so on the face I think that they would look fairly similar but there are other colours like I said in this revolution one that look like they might be more matched to this infinity um, powder and yeah very very similar finish it's, you can see that they're both that kind of satiny look with a little bit of subtle shimmer in and this one is five pounds I've had this for quite a while I'm sure I showed this in a favourites because I do really enjoy it it's just exactly the same as I'm saying about this one it's just that extra step that I often am like no, I'm not going to bother you know but when I when I see it, not when I see it, when I think about it and use it, I'm like, oh, that's really pretty, you know? So as you will have gathered, I don't think that this is a must have at all. Um, I don't think it's anything amazing. It's just very, very pretty, but you can buy something a lot less expensive that does pretty much the same thing. The packaging obviously isn't as nice on this, but this is nicer than most of the Re Revolution packaging, I think. And this is very much like the MAC Skin Finish powders. Um, so that's everything for today. I'll tell you what I've got on makeup wise. Um, I have got on the Kiko Insta Moisture Foundation in 1.5N. On my eyes is a pigment by Bare Minerals in Soul. Um, and then I just used the Morphe, I think it's, is it 18T the one I got? Just for the crease and outer corner. Um, this lipstick is Stila Liquid Lipstick in Besso. And that's everything I think. I'll, I'll link to this. This is not actually a headband. It's actually one of those, you know, I can't remember what you call them the buffs I think they're called aren't they and then I, the idea was to put it over my face instead of a face mask but it was a bit too loose and actually I quite like it as a headband so but I'll link to to where I got this from it was a big pack of five I think from Amazon so um that's everything thank you so much for watching I'll speak to you again soon